Well, I think there's an infinite source of supply. We've been endowed with mental faculties that the most erudite scientists won't even guess at. I think most people wander around in a deep sleep and they don't think, they don't invest in themselves. And the second they wake up and start doing that, everything starts to change. A million dollars is not a lot of money. You see, we're creative beings. We're working with an infinite power. And once we start to understand the power of our mind and then start to understand how to utilize it properly, then we'll understand that we can do virtually anything. You just have to learn how. I think learning to earn money is much the same as learning how to type or drive a car. It's just something you learn how to do and then you go ahead and do it. I don't think it's complicated. Well, the first thing you do is sit down and decide what you want. If it's money you want, how much money? Lots of money. Well, nobody knows how much lots it is. So you've got to be specific. You write down on a card exactly what you want. And you carry that card around and read it often. And then you start to think. Now you're going to have thoughts come to your mind of why you can't get it. Thinking of why you can't do something is never going to do you any good. And keep thinking until you start to think of thoughts of how you can do it. And the way will be shown to you. It comes in the form of images in our mind. Think of how you can and not why you can't. Tell me a moment about multiple earning sources. People dream of having money come to them when they're not working. When I started this 30 years ago, I read a book and my income took off like a rock. And I went from earning uh, $4,000 a year to 175 and then I took it over a million. One idea is all that you need to achieve the success you see. When riches begin to come, they're going to come so quickly and in such great abundance that one wonders where they've been hiding through all those lean years. When you begin to think and grow rich, you're going to observe that riches begin with a state of mind, with definiteness of purpose, with little or no hard work. You and every person ought to be interested in knowing how to acquire that state of mind which will attract riches. If I can build an image of something in my mind, I'm quite capable of building a physical replica of it in my world. So if I build an image of me as a happy, relaxed person, I can live like that. If I build an image of myself as being prosperous, I can become prosperous. The classical error that most people make is if you want to be a millionaire, you have to earn a lot of money. And of course, that's not true. If you want to be a millionaire, you have to have a plan to be a millionaire. And that's all you need. But when I first started, I thought the answer was get another job. I had five jobs. I was killing myself. I thought that's how you earn more money, you just get more jobs, work longer hours. So I started to study wealthy people. And I realized that all of them had many sources of income, not one, not two, some of them a hundred and two. Some people who are sitting here today watching want to change their life. Some people doubt that they can change their life. Can everybody change their life? Everyone can. I have never seen a situation yet where it can change. Once you start opening your heart, it begins to move into coherence it begins to produce a measurable magnetic field up to three meters wide. Now that's frequency, that's energy. And all that energy, that frequency carries information, carries an intent. So then when you're feeling gratitude and your heart is open, you're broadcasting energy into the field. A frequency, you lay the intent of the thought of your health and your wealth that frequency can carry the thought of your wealth. It can carry the thought of your health. If you're suffering, you can't, suffering does not carry, that energy does not carry the thought of your wealth. It carries a different set of thoughts. If you're gonna believe in that future that you're imagining with all of your heart, it better be open and activated. Right, right. And you better know how to self-regulate. And you have to know the moment you disconnect from the energy of your future because of some circumstance in your life and you lose that feeling, if you're practicing it on a daily basis with your eyes closed, then the next level is to be able to open your eyes and do it right in the moment to be able to self-regulate and change the, the frustration from some experience in your life back to the energy of your future. Now, 
that requires great awareness and great effort. But if you have a community of people that are practicing this on a daily basis and they're connected to their future because that's where their, their mind is, mm -hmm. um, they begin to want the future more than the emotions of the past.